life of my father, Martin Linez, has been a long, difficult journey. Due to political unrest in El Salvador, he realized that he could not stay there and build a good life for his family. Soon after his first son was born, he decided to chase the American dream. As he endured a tiring and difficult trip to America, the only thing on his mind was his family back home. After arriving in Texas, he settled in at his sister's house, but her husband made his life impossible there. My father found jobs working on constructions and in bakeries, where he was paid not even minimum wage and was made to work extra hours. However, by keeping these two jobs, he could send money to his family back in El Salvador. He realized that he needed his family with him in the United States. So he gathered some money to send for his family. While on his way to deposit money, he saw a man in need of assistance. As my father crossed the street to assist the man, a drunk driver ran a red light and hit my father breaking his arm and breaking his leg in three different places. After he was released from the hospital, he returned to his sister's house. She cared for him for a while until her husband started to make my father clean the floors to pay off his rent. My father soon grew tired of his treatment, so he started going out every day to pick up bottles and cans which he redeemed for money. My father never gave up his dream. Step by step, he stayed on the path. Even though my father had both his arm and leg broken, he somehow managed to fight off the pain and make enough money to send for his family and to get an attorney to sue the drunk driver's insurance company. Not long after my mother and uncle arrived to my dad's new house, after a few years, he sent for his son in El Salvador. Not long after my brother's arrival, I was born. My father kept on working his hardest since he now had his loving family with him. A couple years later, my younger brother and sister were born, and my father decided he wanted to raise his kids in a better neighborhood. He moved us to North Carolina where he purchased a house. My father now owns two houses in the U.S. as well as two houses in El Salvador and a ranch. He has helped many of his family members financially even though he had none of their help. My father endured a hard journey to reach his American dream, but he has built a better future for his family. Thank you, Father.